So bi- business aside, what, what's 2020 been like for you? What's 2021 been like for you? Like, like, how did you emotionally get through this? You started a business that I, I think is because you wanted to help, but then also be around people again. Like, uh, you seem like a people person from the times that I've that I've met you, talked with you, whatever the right word is. But yeah, I mean, what's 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 the role been I like? Have, in that? Uh, transformed into a recluse. Um, I have a wonderful therapist. <laughs> um, I honestly think uh, that you know, if anything has um, been clear, it's that having people to to talk to, friends, confidants, my husband, you know, like talking to the same person every single day and only them, and especially if two of them are under four years old, is really, really hard. So, um, <laughs> having people that you that are outside of your home base is really important. Um, that's definitely been highlighted by the pandemic. And 2020 was, you know, I I've enjoyed being home. There are a lot of things that I appreciate now. I mean, we were we were pretty careful because we have some high risk family members. So. Um, but yeah, it's been a it's been a hard year. Um, but also, when you're put in a place where things can be pretty dismal or bleak, um, that's where I get a lot of my inspiration and creativity. I mean, I'm one of these people that I firmly believe it. You know, things have to go bad in order for them to go good. Like things have to go bad, or you have to be tested in order to to like when you're at the bottom, when you're at that pit of despair. That's when I get activated. Um, and I'm not saying I was at the pit of despair like the whole year, yeah. but there were definite moments, um, especially yeah. the first like couple of months that we were staying home. I was having some like flashbacks to September 11th um, mm. because there was this air of uncertainty and and sort of like what's going on. And, and I should qualify this by saying that I was in New York on September 11th um, and I watched the plane fly into the second tower. I heard the first one crash and and I was very close. So I was actually like having a lot of like flashbacks of this and it, um, thankfully I had just started to see this therapist. And so she kind of put all that into context that like when you're going through a trauma, um, other traumas come up. So I think this was a big, a big thing for me. And I, I talk about it openly because, um, it can happen to anybody. I mean, you know, it was a it was a hard year for a lot of people, and I think we're only going to start to see the results of that. Um, for me, I get creative. For me, I get like I come up with ideas, um, which is what, one of the reasons why I have like three things running at the same time at any moment. But um, you know, for other people, they may pour into their work or they may pour into their family or whatever it is, whatever fills them back up. But um, yeah, it was an interesting year. Do you think with that being said, I feel like, you know, the 2010 to 2015 timeframe, yeah, America really pushed entrepreneurship as a thing. I feel like that that buzzword has really gone away. Personally, I don't see it as much that, uh, as we used to see it. It's become uh, ubiquitous now. So do you think that's something that then needs to be marketed back then? I mean, you think it's ubiquitous as in it, it's just a natural thing that people are doing? Because I think the awareness level of the average American on starting a business is much, much higher than um, it was, you know, 10 to 15 years ago. Like when we ago. were growing up as kids, was that something that wasn't Yeah, I mean, you always glorified the entrepreneur, right? Like, oh, the Bill Gates. Oh, the, um, you know, the Steve Jobs, right? Like you glorified these these people who built these massive companies, the, um, the HP team, right? Hewlett Packard. Um, so those guys were glorified and it was seen as like something that's kind of hard to do or something that's like only in Silicon Valley or wherever. And I think we've really gotten to the point, at least, I mean, this is me and I'm in, in, in it. So I don't know, maybe I'm a little skewed, but we see that one, it can be done anywhere. Two, the barriers to entry are really low. Anybody can buy a domain and start a website. You know, we've got a million different services now to do that. Um, and it's it's just easy. It's really easy to test an idea. What's not ubiquitous is the the gumption to actually take that risk. And I think the risk taking behavior is something that we could still cultivate. 
Um, but the the idea of like what it takes to start a business, it's like if somebody's like, oh, I don't even know what to do. Well, you're like, well, would you would you do it if I could tell you how to do it? And then if they're like, oh, yeah, absolutely. And if you break down how easy it is to start a business, then I think it just it's like a no brainer. It's it's just there for the taking. I think the one thing that uh, that you've demonstrated just on the last 50 something minutes that we've been talking is that uh, you, you've let on that you've been knocked down a couple of times, but uh, you continue to get back up and you continue to come up with new ideas. And yeah, there, there's nothing that, that keeps you down. You felt like you weren't necessarily accepted as a transplant, uh, but you keep on going. So, I mean, that's a really, really big thing uh, with entrepreneurship. So, yeah. It doesn't matter that you fell down. It matters that you get back up, right? Yeah. Just like the Chumbawamba song. I get knocked down, but I That's get up right. again. <laughs> yeah. As someone who's been directly involved within the startup community for almost a decade, I want to talk to you about a serious pain point. Spending a ton of time trying to understand the business landscape in the 757. That's time that should be focused on growing the business. At Startwheel, we're here to help you by compiling all of the news you need to know about in one place. Now there's no need to search multiple websites. Just head to startwheel.org and see for yourself. That's startwheel.org.